Hello gamers, my name is Sparky and today I will be playing Rocket League Sideswipe, the mobile version of Rocket League. I managed to get it in its alpha stage a few days ago and I've been it's been really cool playing it. I'm going to be showing off tutorials, all the UI features and so a little bit of gameplay as well. So you'll want to stick around to the end where I play a few matches. So first up, we have your profile uh, customization, where it shows you what rank you are in competitive ranks. As you can see, I'm Silver 3 in 1v1 and 2v2, and Silver 2 in 2v2. You may be thinking this is a low rank, but what happens is, at least in the alpha version of the game, when you start playing, the first match you win, you're automatically on Bronze 1, and in the, each rank has 5. So bronze one, two, three, four, five. And with each within each rank, there are three. I, I like to call them charges. I'll show you what I mean later in the video. So uh, that's why those silver three may not look impressive. It actually is very is and well to me because it's taken a long time to get here. Now there is also profile customization here, where you can customize the avatar on your um, on your profile. There's also the banner you can customize the player titles when you receive them and the custom quick chat where you can rearrange your quick chat and it's cool because these quick chats are in stickers I use my controller for some games so I get to use the d-pad for the stickers and it works practically the same way as Rocket League quick chat now moving on to the rewards so rewards are th like the rocket pass but for Rocket League sideswipe and they give it to you level up and you get free items like the first one is the Dystro Import Car Body, which actually looks pretty sick. And then you've got coins, and even Black Market Gold Stables. It's not all limited like in the Rocket Pass. Of course, this feature might change, and all the features in here might change, as this is an alpha release, the first stage of the game. And I was incredibly lucky to get the alpha version of it. And moving on to Mystery Item, we have what is called SP. You might have seen in the previous, just before, I would have shown that the second thing you get is 2000 SP. SP is the in-game currency where you can like get mystery items from here by buying it. It gets more expensive every time you buy it. And I was very fortunate to get this sky blue werewolf, which is apparently painted uh, sky blue and black market. Moving on, we have the garage which I have my rich car here, which it should have titanium white rat rods equipped. For some reason there's a bit of a bug going around, some items just de-equip. So titanium white rat rods don't usually have the top hat on. And then I have uh, polygonal usually, although I do like to use this sometimes. Car paints look like that, where you can change the primary accent for a home team and away team and properties such as metalness and glossiness. And then these are the gold explosions you have. You got your classic, then this one of course is blue, and also the party time as you saw in the rewards. Now I have you can tap this and it'll bring up all your presets. So this is all I have. I've got jail, I forgot how to pronounce that, short squat and fat, mega mind, Mr. Rich, original boy and chunky. Practically the only ones that look different from this pretty cool probably Megamind which is MG88 for Octane and Endo which is short fat as short squat and fat. Now each different decal you get is tied to the car. Like if I tap this icon here, it'll say Octane with the decal MG88. You can't equip decals in this game, you gotta collect them. Such as on the original Octane, if you tap on it, it's Octane but the decal is default. Plus that's why I have two Dastros. Because, oh no, not two dice rays, what did I have? Oh, two octanes, sorry. Which uh, have a different decal on it. You can't create a new preset, but you can always select the card. I always like to go with this one. Now, we also have the settings menu. We have game settings where you can adjust your gameplay, audio, and graphics. And this thing actually, if your phone can handle it, or a tablet, it has some pretty good graphics on it. And it has community updates. You can join the Discord server. It's got your profile, which is practically linked to back down here. 
and leaderboards for the players that reach Grand Champ. Currently, there are no Grand Champs, and the highest I've heard of is a Plat 4, although it might have changed by the release of this video. There is also credits, which credits all who made the game, like Psionics and that, as well as account support, which I'm not going to click because that might take me to a website. Now, you can also invite people to the party, which is very cool because you get to see these, you get to see, you can play with other people in your party, sorry. And on solo, we have free play, exhibition, and tutorial. First of all, I'll go through the tutorial to help you learn the general gist of the game, and then we can do some free play, and then instead of an exhibition match, I'll do an online 1v1. So as we're logging in, we log in and welcome to Sprocket League Sideswipe. This brief tutorial will teach you the basics of controlling your vehicle. I'm going to use touchscreen instead of controller just so you can see how it is when controlling your vehicle. So we can create a joystick by touching anywhere on the left half of your screen. There. So I guess we can drive with this? Yes, we can. So you can do anywhere on your screen and you can make a joystick. Now this will help you with in-game. It's a bit laggy, I'm not too sure why. Probably turn down the buffer or something. And you can direct your car where it goes. Pressing the boost button will rocket the car in whatever direction the vehicle is pointing. This is the boost button. So you, you can boost like this. And that circle will always refill when you're on the ground. But if you're in the air, it won't. So, oh, oops. The car will point its nose in the direction you're pointing on the joystick. For example, pointing the joystick straight up will orient the car so that it also points straight up. To make the car fly, simply point the joystick up and boost. So instead of the usual jumping, you just press there and boost. Now as you can see, it runs out and doesn't replenish in the air. So that. But you gotta wait on the ground for it to replenish. Now you gotta fly through these hoops. Ah. Yeah, we're at a boost again. Hold up for that to recharge. Now you gotta fly through these hoops. And I guess... Whoops. That, that is how you practically everyone in this game. How am I missing this? Oh man, I'm at a boost again. Ah, oh, this is going horribly. Ah, oh, I can't even do this. Well done! Boost fuel will replenish automatically any time when the car is not airborne. Pressing the jump button will make your car leap into the air. Now we can do this like that. When while airborne, you can press ju the jump button again to perform a double jump. Like that. And it has some pretty cool animations as well. Double jump while holding a direction on the joystick to send the car flipping. That. That is great for quickly hitting the ball. Kind of gonna use it when there's no boost. Well, that's a wrap on basic vehicle movement. Now it's time to head into free play. Now free play is the same you would expect at um, normal Rocket League. But, except we don't have infinite boost, but since this is alpha stage, that's probably going to change. So, first of all, we can just practice what we do. Whoops, like boosting. It's also extremely easy to do cool moves in this one. So, I'm just going to use my controller to show you what I mean. Because that's a lot easier. See what I mean? It's extremely easy to score things like that. It may look like I was moving extremely fast, but that's just how this moves. Now if we tap the top right of our screen, there is a settings button. And in this settings, it will have resume game options find match. Now we can leave the match, and I will show you what online 1v1 looks like. So practically, you search for online 1v1. Oh wait, before we search for it, as you can see in the bottom left, the season ends in 4 days, 6 hours, and 10 minutes. That's when this uh, alpha will end and all the alpha players will have their inventories cleaned out and removed. Now, while this seems like putting a lot of effort into a game that's just going to get wiped anyway, or your inventory stats, they did think about giving people 
so, players some sort of reward for taking time to show this to do this game. So I'm very grateful if they do. If they don't, it's been a wonderful experience testing this for mobile edition, and I really like the direction this game is going. So as we wait for a game, which should be easy this time of day, there we go, match found, didn't even have to go to free play. We can go and play. So this is what it looks like when you're in a match, a meeting of fated rivals, home team versus the away team. Usually I'm the away team, yeah, but sometimes it'll be home team. You also have your emotes. No, not emotes, can you call them again? Quick chat. See what I mean how about how easy it is to score cool goals? Now there is no replay, but there is a spotlight on the player, and you can um, air roll with right trigger and left trigger. Ah, too high. But yeah, you can flip, and everything you could do in normal Rocket League. Ah, I missed. That's so missed. Good goal. Oh. Come on. There we go. And boost is like extremely powerful for some reason. But like, I don't mind because it kind of makes sense. Also, I should have addressed this earlier, but you only play on like a 2D plane. You can't play like drive around the field, which I think for a mobile game is very good because it would be very confusing if you don't drive around the field. Now the new mechanics may be hard to get used to, but it's extremely fun to do. Because like, like that, you can do some pretty sick whoops. Not like that, please don't take any advice from me. But, but you can do some pretty sick moves. Ah! I'm oh, good. But yeah, this is actual online players. I can't showcase... I can't showcase what um, parties look like because I none of anyone I know has this feature. Ah. This app. Because as I said, it was a closed alpha. Only in Australia, only on Android. To the first a thousand players I think or something like that so as you can see I should have mentioned this earlier as well math length, match length is only two minutes long and also there's three different maps you got the hoops arena you got this one which is called short stack please don't tell me I'm gold no good you got this one which is called short stack and then you've got oops and then you've got the Normal arena. I think it's just called SC Fields. I really like the name they've chosen for this side swipe because I think it's pretty apt because we are swiping on the screen. Oh, I just missed so badly. That was such a bad whiff. But yeah, and it's nice how they raise the goals off the ground. It may look a bit weird, but it kind of helps because if we could just roll it straight in, whereas now we've got to perform some more complicated maneuvers. As you can see, it's very easy to air dribble. I think I just won. Maybe. 7-7 seven, seven left. And it's also extremely easy to do over um, to do what, uh, zero second goals. Now, 7 seconds left until the match is over. And, oh my goodness. Nope. I, this is either going to overtime. Actually, maybe I should let it go into overtime to show you the mechanics of overtime. So, as we are... Ooh, I don't want to lose either. Nah. Ugh, oh, fun. Usually I'll be able to air dribble that in. Oh yeah, and as we said, zero second goals are fairly easy in this mode. Oh, come on. But yeah, now it's overtime. Overtime is like what you'd expect in normal Rocket League. As sweaty as it normally is. And there we go, first two seconds. Each match is only two minutes long, and just to keep it short and sweet. But I really do not mind. So after that, you get this little celebration thing. We can do your quick chats. Whoops, I did not mean to want to save it. I'm so sorry. But then it gives you your XP progress, which your progress in the rewards. Then you have your um, what rank you are. Then after that, you have your goals. I mean, not your goals, your match stats. And then you can find another match and whatnot. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'm, I very much appreciate for watching this gameplay review. And be assured, more gameplay will be coming out in the future. I cannot make, wait to make more videos like this. I know that the time to play this is short, but thank you very much for watching, and I cannot wait for the public beta to be released, so more of you can come and join the ranks of the Rocket League Sideswipe. Goodbye!